Sitting in my hall, or I'm sitting in my hall, I'm sitting in my hallway, just kind of talking to one of the guys just standing there. And I, I hear Coach Patino yell, uh, Fire man, man, for a sec. So I jog down and usually jog when you hear Coach Patino, by the way. Rarely do you walk down. So I said, Coach, I say, uh, What's going on, Coach? He says, um, you, uh, you got a call now. I said, Really? I said, Who was that? I just spoke with uh, Kenley Boston and uh, he wants to speak to you. you know, Represent the position and Reggie just left. So I just kind of take a big gulp, you know, and I'm like, okay, what is Coach going to say? <laughs> uh, he was calling um, for permission to speak with me. So I want to thank Coach Tino right now for allowing permission to be talked to because uh, if it wasn't Coach, I wouldn't be sitting here. And whatever Coach said I was going to do, uh, he's uh, been my mentor, my rock, my teacher for the last um, couple years. And I don't know how many of you know all the details and nuances of Coach Tino, but you know, every year when Coach is probably five years with the average coach, it's, uh, Quiet experience, and you, you, you learn so much. He's so demanding, and, and he's, he's keeps you holds you to such a high level of accountability that uh, you cannot work underneath and not learn. You cannot work underneath him and not grow as a person and as a coach, and understand what the blueprint is to run a basketball program. Um, let me let me give you what my impression of three successful or three things you need to do to have a successful program. The first is obviously you have to have players. Uh, like Reggie uh, and myself, we come from the same tree of of uh, same resume, I should say, entry. We're both West Coast guys. We both uh, were known for our recruiting skills. That's been my uh, dominant uh, uh, point on my, or bullet point on all my resumes, all my interviews. It's been my ability to recruit players. So we have that in common. And, and we have that component covered when it comes to uh, applying one of the three things to a successful program. The other would be style of play. I think style of play needs to be one that is uh, up tempo, upbeat. As you Played last year, I saw some film. I had a chance. Uh, Alan put together a nice little DVD for me. I had a chance to look at um, more games that I that saw last year. A couple, but I had a chance to watch more games since then. And um, uh, the style of play will, will be upbeat and, and the tempo, just like Reggie did. I'm just going to take what Reggie did. Basically, we're from the same family, we're from the same coaching philosophy, and, and I'm just going to build on that. I'm just going to try to do everything we can to do in our in our power to just be consistent and and continue to give the kids that are, are returning and income kids the the system that we know is proven to work. Also, last thing, uh, ingredient that I think um, both Reggie and I bring to the table is our Hollywood looks. No, I think he's got to be beating that area by a little bit. But um, we, uh, you know, I, I could ramble on a little bit about you know, who I am, where I've been, what I've done. I think there's a lot of a lot of that in print for media already. So I guess the best way to go go forward would probably just. Open it up. Maybe yeah. because the foundation is laid. Yeah. Yeah. Taking the time and running the next step. No, I just want people at home to understand that the contract is not quite final. Coach Do uh, Dr. McKinley Boston says it'll be final within the next 24 hours. Coach Mins, is there any reason that this still can't get finished? No, not not at all. It's just dot and eyes crossing teeth at this point. So. so I can officially introduce you to NMSU's new head coach, Mr. Marvin Menzies. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank Thank you for having the time to we'll speak. We'll talk a lot more, I'm sure. <laughs>